As the Prancing Horse's first production plug-in hybrid Spider, the SF90 Spider sets new performance and innovation benchmarks, not only for the Mark's range, but for the entire sports car sector. The new convertible has the same extreme supercar specification and record-breaking performance as the SF90 Stradale, yet also adds further driving pleasure and versatility to the mix, thanks to latest iteration of Ferrari's signature retractable hard-top architecture. This makes the SF90 Spider the ideal car for owners that demand the very pinnacle of Ferrari technology but still want the thrill of open-top driving. The greenhouse area and roof feature stylistic solutions from the coupe that reduce drag and underscore its fiery temperament without impacting on onboard comfort. The cockpit has been shifted forwards, the roof is 0.78 inches lower, the eight posts are more slender, and the windscreen is more raked. Aside from having the same silhouette as the SF90 Stradale, the SF90 Spider has a unique dynamic allure, when its top is down, the absence of the roof seems to visually lower the car's center of gravity, an impression further strengthened by the difference in color of the trim on the roll hoops that give rise to the buttresses. The front of the car is dominated by a very pronounced profile which underscores its extremely aggressive character. The three air intakes in this area cool the electric motors and the internal combustion engine. The SF90 Spider also uses Matrix LED headlight technology to improve visibility in all driving conditions thanks to active beam control. The rear of the car is dominated by high exhaust pipes, which are the result of optimization of the exhaust line layout. Their competition car vibe has been cleverly exploited to underscore the SF90 Spider's track-inspired personality. This effect is further enhanced by the low tail area. More elongated luminous rings create a more horizontal perception of the tail lights, which are a radical break from the iconic round shape normally used on Ferrari's mid-rear engine Berlinettas. The retractable hard top, RHT, was again adopted because it guarantees optimal noise insulation and protection from the elements when raised, does not deform at high speeds, and provides exceptional occupant space and comfort. The RHT is so compact, simple and light it can be actioned in just 14 seconds and can be deployed when the car is on the move. The use of aluminium in its construction also means that it is around 88 pounds lighter than a conventional retractable hard top. An adjustable electric rear window guarantees superb occupant comfort even at high speeds when the RHT is lowered. The look and feel of the cabin was driven in large part by the complete redesign of the HMI, which marked such a major leap forward on the SF90 Stradale. The instrumentation is now predominantly digital, with all the screens going completely black when the car is not running, lending the cabin a very minimalist look. The central instrument cluster comprises a single 16-inch HD screen, which is curved towards the driver to make it easier to read and emphasize the wraparound cockpit effect. In the default screen, everything is dominated by a large circular rev counter, framed by the battery charge indicator. The navigation screen is on one side of the rev counter, with the audio controls on the other. Thanks to the introduction of the head-up display, the main information can be projected onto the section of windscreen within the driver's field of vision. The SF90 Spider's steering wheel completes that transfer process from the competition world and also ushers in a new era 
by introducing a series of touch commands that allow the driver to control virtually every aspect of the car without ever taking their hands off the wheel. As expected, the new Spider version of the Ferrari SF90 features the same heavily electrified powertrain as the fixed roof model, meaning a combined output of 986 horsepower and 664 pounds foot of torque. The astonishing power figures are a combination of a twin turbo V8 engine, producing 769 horsepower, with three electric motors kicking out an additional 217 horsepower. This also gives the SF90 Spider all wheel drive, while the gearbox is the latest eight speed dual clutch automatic unit. Ferrari claims that the SF90 Spider is just as fast as the Strade in the 0 to 62 miles per hour at 2.5 seconds. 0 to 124 miles per hour comes in a breathtaking 7 seconds, while top speed is set at 211 miles per hour. The chassis was completely redesigned to deal with the extra stresses associated with the new power unit and the introduction of all-wheel drive. A number of leading-edge technologies and innovations have been introduced, not least an all-carbon fiber bulkhead between the cabin and the engine. The SF90 Spider chassis also boasts 30% higher torsional rigidity than previous platforms, without any increase in weight, a fact that has significantly influences the car's dynamic prowess.